right guys welcome back to another commentator auditor video today we are going to be looking back into the case of sherry raposo and joseph conover yesterday i showed you where the neighborhood is i showed you joseph conover's charges i went over his uh affidavit um uh for probable cause and uh, we discussed some of the things that led to him being arrested and charged with three counts of falsely personating an officer. So today we're going to go over Shea Raposo's uh, case and we're going to be looking into that. Just a quick little uh, side statement, guys. Um, yes, I do realize that I misspelled auditor yesterday for the title screen for the video glad you called me out on it no hard feelings about it keep calling me out on it when i make a mistake like that um you know it was an accident i didn't double check like i should have that's my bad i was also half awake half asleep trying to finishing the editing on that video and I had to be back up again this morning at 3 and be back at work at 4. So, again, my bad. Try not to do it again this time. As a matter of fact, I've already gone to the title card and edited it back to say actually auditor. So, you know, keep it up. It was a good laugh. No hard feelings. Start this one off with a few videos. Uh, of Sherry Raposo and the female security officer right here in the blue on navy polo shirt um, interacting with a homeowner from Turnberry Reserve and a Osceola County Sheriff's Deputy. There's going to be two of these videos uh, but you're just going to watch and see how bad Sherry Raposo is towards the homeowners of the homeowners association. The person that got trespassed by us on that one, she she was she told she told me that y'all said the girl no longer lives here. That's why she got trespassed. No no. That's not what the officer told me. So she said that she no longer lived here. She wasn't she was she didn't pay anything. She lived with her mom. She no longer lived here, and that's why she got trespassed. Now, as far as this goes, this is one giant single matter. Since this is an HOA and they pay to be here, I cannot trespass them from their park. Can't do it. And I just talked talk to my sergeant. He said, you can call me complain, but I cannot trespass them from their park. No, if it's a it's a sheet, yay big. And if we didn't give you that sheet, we didn't trespass her. Thank you. Well, then that's what we need today. That's what no, she's I been intimidating that. me with. I'm just I'm telling you, I cannot do that. It's a civil matter. You're saying it's a civil matter because you live here. It's an HOA and they dues. pay dues. Okay, I'm sorry. So if I go get her her, her ledger showing that she isn't paying her dues, that's a civil matter in itself. Is, it's I'm still a civil matter. That's I don't care. I'm telling you, you if guys she, can't have her Regardless her if she pays it or not, you got to go to court over it. Right. Regardless if she pays it for or not, you're saying it's regardless if she pays it or not, the person who gets the right for them to be here is us. That's the reason why there's private property, there's 
No, 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 no,
that's the worst part because i see you talk to my daughter say hi you can tell that this deputy does not want to be here or be in this situation so i can understand why he made the decision he made based on legal standpoints as well as how he feels about the whole situation princess yes don't act like you care if you don't no they should just, just an act let her walk past while you don't say anything yes it's an act looking at the camera <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be go on this side show your different side all right all right guys so here is the documentation for the first set of charges on Shay Raposo. This is the false personating officer charge and the perform services as a security officer without a license charge. Um, same state attorney as is listed on the paperwork for Joseph Conover. Um, same date. Um, same statute, 843.08. Uh, well, no, excuse me, that's a different one. That's, uh, well, falsely assume. Yeah, that's the same one, 843.08 for the first count. And count two is who forty nine three point six one two zero I A I or excuse me L A L and forty nine three point six three zero one five uh, perform the service of a security officer without a license. Um, third degree felony, uh, misdemeanor. Okie dokie. One second, guys. Okay, guys. Sorry about that. I had to go through, um... The court redacted a lot of stuff on Conover's, like personal information, like uh, social security number, driver's license number, address, phone number. They didn't do that when they posted the documents for the Shea Raposo uh, court records. So I just had to go through real quick and manually redact it. Um, so again, it's Sherry Maycumber. Raposo. Um, again, it's Robert Shoreback for the uh, Department of Agriculture's Law Enforcement Division investigating this. And uh, she also has the same uh, bell stipulations for getting out on bond that she cannot return to the scene of the offense uh however she only has two charges on this uh, affidavit she has more uh pending that stem from this situation and we'll pull those up and look at those in a little bit uh, but both of the charges on this affidavit have a thousand dollar bond for them and uh, probable cause exists for the detention of the above-named defendant. Assuming it's probably the same judge. It's a misdemeanor case, but also a felony case at the same time. So this is the uh, investigation report. Again, this is redacted uh, stuff that I had to redact manually so you guys don't get the address because... I don't want to get accused of doxing. The only addresses that you'll see left in this report are the addresses for actual government agency buildings. That's it. And um, here it's listing some of the, uh, the state laws. 
493.6100 legislative intent. Uh, 493.6120 violation penalty. We have 493.6124 use of state seal prohibited. This is one of the other crimes she is charged with. Uh, no person or licensee shall use any facsimile, reproduction, or pictorial portion of the Great Seal of the State of Florida on any badge, credentials, identification card, or other means of identification used in connection with any activities regulated under this chapter. <clears throat> Alright, so we're getting into the probable cause affidavit. Again, this is stemming from the same complaint for Joseph Conover. And during this investigation, I learned that Joseph Conover is employed by Management Firm 35 Incorporated. Management Firm 35 Incorporated has been retained by the Turnberry Reserve Homeowners Association in Kissimmee, Osceola County, Florida to manage the business of the association. A search was conducted of the website of the State of Florida's Department of State Division of Corporations. Management 35 firm, Inc. is an active business entity. Sherry Maycumber Raposo is registered as the president of Management 35 firm, Inc. FDAX issuing or FDAX licensing records were reviewed. Sherry Raposo holds an MB security agency manager license with FDAX. Raposo has never held any other license under Chapter 493. Management firm 35 Inc. is not licensed under Chapter 493. On September 17th, 2019, I went to the Florida Department of... We've already read this one. This is the same thing that was stated um, on the Conover probable cause. Um, on September 25th, 2019, I went to the Turnberry Reserve neighborhood in Kissimmee. I observed... And this is where the... where the uh, charge for the seal... Um, use comes in was equipped with overhead light bar Let's see where it says in there uh, grab a highlighter make it yellow Let me uh, thin this down and we'll do a yellow. The seal for Florida on the driver and front passenger doors. That's where the charge came for that. Um... On September 26, 2019 at 9.45. And this is also on the statement we went over for Joseph Conover where he met with two investigators for FDAX and Sherry Raposo and Joseph Conover. Oh, but he does get some stuff over here. Uh, investigators Salvaggio and Gonzalez to display the patch with public safety Turnberry Reserve HOA embroidered on it. The patch also depicts the state seal, another violation. 
Investigator Gonzalez explained to Raposo that the patch violates Florida statutes. During the meeting, both Conover and Raposo admitted to me that they trained security personnel. Conover stated that Management 35 owns the black public safety patrol car. Um... Uh, Raposo stated Management 35 pays security guards to patrol the Turnberry Reserve community and admitted to advertising to hire security guards through job announcements under Management 35 Firm, Inc. Uh, I retained the uniform patch, scanned a digital image of it, and submitted it as evidence. September 30th, 2019, investigator Justin Porter and I went to the Turnberry Reserve community and observed security guard. This guard right here. Aileen DePina. <clears throat> She's the one that gets arrested. Uh, in one of the other videos, and I'll show that here in a little bit. Uh, we located her patrolling the neighborhood in the black 2013 Ford Police Interceptor bearing Florida registration, da -da 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 -da, marked public safety on the front, rear, and both sides with the Florida State seal on the driver and front passenger doors and management firm 35's phone number and address on both sides owned by management 35 firm inc depina was observed wearing a blue security guard uniform with a shoulder patch identical to the patch i obtained from reposo on september 26 2019 which included the state seal depina was uncooperative and no statement was obtained October 8th, 2019, I met with the regulatory investigator, Ron Salvaggio, and obtained his report. Investigator Salvaggio's report indicates that neither Joseph Conover nor Sherry Raposo are licensed security guards under Chapter 493. And Management 35 firm, Inc. is not licensed as a security company under Chapter 493. And on the 9th, I met with... Hold on, got to do some redacting. I missed one. I uh, met with Tammy Fallon at their home in the Turnberry Reserve. And she gave me a telephone number for Management 35 Firm and told me that when the number is called, automated messages identify Management 35 Firm and references their security department. I called the number and recorded the automated message, which announced, Thank you for calling M <laughs> Management 35 Firm residing leadership, Redesigning Leadership and Professional Property Management. For our property management office, press zero. After hours guest service. Sorry about that. Um, after hours, guest services, press one, security department, press two, emergency maintenance, press three, and for our employee directory, press four. <laughs> oh, this just gets too good. Um, on October 9th, 2019, I met with Waleska Herzog in the Turnberry Reserve community. She presented me with... A paper trespass warning I observed the page to have a badge printed on the upper right corner the badge included the words management 35 firm security department encircling the Florida state seal oh my god how many times are you gonna misuse the state seal uh, to the right of the badge is printed management 35 firm Inc and security department below indicates the form is a trespass warning issued 
to Waleska Herzog on August 16th, 2019. By Sherry Raposo, in her sworn record statement, Waleska Herzog indicated the following. She received the trespass warning through email from Sherry Raposo, the owner of Management 35, the company that manages the Turnberry Reserve HOA. On August 16, 2019, she had an altercation with the HOA security guard, Depina, earlier that day at the pool area when she was picking up her children from school. She has seen Joseph Conover driving the marked public safety vehicle patrolling the neighborhood daily. October 10th, I met with Correctional Probation Specialist Dan Richburg. Uh, we've already seen this. Conclusion, your affiant has probable cause to believe and does believe that Defendant Shea Raposo did knowingly falsify, assume, or pretend to be a security officer licensed under Chapter 493 and took upon herself to act as such. Shea Raposo is the president and owner of Management Firm 35, Inc. Management Firm 35, Inc. is not a licensed security provider under Chapter 493. In order to advertise for employment to employ security guards to provide security services and patrol property not owned by Management Firm 35, Inc., Management Firm 35, Inc. is required to be a licensed security company under Chapter 493. Management Firm 35, Inc., Inc. has advertised for security guard employment, hired and employed security guards, and provided security services and patrolled property not owned by management firm 35, Inc. Furthermore, management, fir management 35 firm, Inc. utilized a facsimile reproduction or pictorial portion of the Great Seal of the State of Florida on a marked security patrol vehicle, on a uniform shoulder patch, and on a formal trespass notice. By these actions, your affiant has probable cause to believe and does believe that Defendant Shea May Cumber Raposo did operate an unlicensed security business in violation of Florida State Statute 493.6120, a misdemeanor in the first degree, one count, and did use the state seal in violation of Florida Statute 493.6124, a misdemeanor in the first degree, three counts. Signed. By Robert Shorbuck and signed by a judge on the 30th day of October 2019. Okay, so not only is Sherry Raposo been arrested on her counts and Joseph Conover, but one of their security guards they hired, uh, Miss DePina has been arrested also and she has four charges three misdemeanors and one felony they're lumping them all together uh <clears throat> they lumped them all together uh, the case is already closed um and uh <laughs> Uh, she was charged with battery touch or strike twice, battery of law enforcement officer once, which is the felony, 
and she was charged with resisting officer obstruction without violence. Um, a misdemeanor. Um, but the case has already been closed. Um, there's some confidential information. It was taken care of last year in May. Um, so probably doesn't have a, a security license anymore. Uh, if she was a, a trained security guard and was employed by management firm 35. Um, so let's go and we're going to search Sherry Raposo. All right. So here is the uh, stuff for the fraud and grand theft. Two felonies she's got pending. Um, she is charged with scheme to defraud over $20,000 and grand theft over $20,000. Um, and then in this case, this is before, uh, Keith Karsten the grand theft and, and the scheme to defraud. This is before, before Nix Walker. And this one is the falsely personating officer and performs services as a security officer without a license. Uh, the latter charge is a misdemeanor and the earlier charge is a felony. Um, as we all know, falsely personating an officer is a third degree. Um, she is scheduled, actually, for a jury trial on this one um, on June 28th. So we'll... Uh, We'll see how that goes for her. Um, this one is still going back and forth, back and forth. Uh, the last thing on the case docket is defense demand for exculpatory information. Um, it's not set for a jury trial. Uh, the, lat the latest status update was on uh, September 17th last year. And the file date was September 17th last year. So uh, this is still a pending case also against Sherry Raposo. So with that done, and we've seen both of the cases... For Raposo, and we've seen the case against uh, security guard Depina. Let's jump into the video footage which got Depina arrested. Okay, so I believe this is the footage, guys. So let's take a quick look and see what happens. Why uh, guard Depina here in the blue over navy polo shirt? got arrested. <laughs> That's why Depina got arrested. All right. She forcefully tried to block a resident from getting in. That's where the two counts of battery came in. And then she would not move out of the way when the deputy sheriff told her to move out of the way. 
and touched him. So he pulled her out of the way outside and is taking her to uh, to handcuff her. So that's where the uh, battery on an officer comes in. And she slightly resisted, as you've seen, as he was trying to walk her through the crowd. And that's where she got resisting without violence. Well, guys, that does it for this video. I hope you can see why these three individuals were a major problem and they needed to be dealt with. Um, they have court cases pending, except for Depina. Depina's is already closed. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing what the outcome of uh, Raposo and Conover's cases are going to be. Um, you know, they 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 did some some things that were wrong uh, with Conover being a convicted felon and impersonating a security officer and taking actions to act as a security officer when he has no license and he can't hold a license because he's a convicted felon. And with Raposo trying to bend the rules with in-house security, but they don't own the property that the security uh, staff is patrolling. And that technically counts as being a contracted security company, not a HOA management company. So do they deserve what they got? Mm, probably so. Uh, we'll see what, what their uh, punishment's going to be. I'm going to be continuing to keep an eye on this one, as well as the Jeremy DeWitt uh, case. Um, if you guys want to chat the best place to chat with me is on discord i am there uh on the commentator auditor channel or server and uh we can chat there if there's something you want me to look into involving an impersonation case uh let me know i'll see what i can find on it and i will catch you guys in the next video